Hi kiddos, welcome to online school. Mr. Duncan here, and you can see I've shaved my beard. Um, that's so I can wear a wear a mask when I'm out and about in public. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to insert an image and create an API citation um, and put those into your journal document, which is um, what you'll be doing next Tuesday, April 14th, as it says here. So it's, it's um, you know, put an image in that talks about how you're feeling today. So I decided that I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed creating videos, coming up with lessons that we can do online. So I chose overwhelmed. I did a Google search and I'm going to go to images for my results. So I like this little image right here. So I'm going to right click it, copy image, go back to my journal, right click and paste. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies. So it's selected. I know that because I can see the little blue handles all around it. And down below are three icons and these are wrapping. And that's how the text um, behaves around an image in Google Docs. So I'm going to choose the middle one, which is wrap text. Then I'm going to move my cursor into the middle of my um, image and I'm going to grab it and pull it till I see a little red line. Oops, there it is. And that means I have centered my image, which is part of the assignment. I went too far, and that's why that APA went um, on the other side. Okay, and I don't want a margin, so I'm going to change margin to zero. You can do that if you want to. Um, and I'm going to come and center this here. Now, I need to put a citation here, right? Um, so, but first I'm going to write my sentence. This image rep resents uh, my feeling of being overwhelmed today because of all the things I have to do and learn. Okay, so there's my sentence. Remember, complete sentence, capitalize, periods, all that. Now I'm going to put a citation under here. And it's okay with me. You can put the citation below, above, besides. The, the key is to just do a citation. So I go back to my image and I click on it. I need to go to the site. So I click on, let me do that again. I'm going to go back. Oops, let me close this window. So when I click on it, it comes in this big area here and I'm going to click down on the um, link to that site. It opens up in a new window and all I need to do is click in the URL and then I have to copy it. You could also do control C and then I need to go to my APA citation maker. So I'm going to do a search on APA citation maker, press it the search bar and here it is right at the top citationmachine.net so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to double check that it says apa and website so i'm going to go here i'm going to control v to paste in the url or you can also copy here let me undo that real quick you can also right click and paste okay so i'm going to search websites and there it is. It comes in right here. I'm going to select. And it says, I can't find the publisher sponsor. Now, remember, you have to have everything complete. So I got lucky with this one. I think it has everything I need. So I click on final step and I've got a title. Make sure there's a title. I've got an author. If there's no author, just look at the website, right? And go, oh, this is a TLNT. And so just put TLNT staff right here, okay? If you don't have this, your URL will be here. If it doesn't have a date and you can't find a date, use today's date. And then you need the date access, so click today, right? And now it's complete. Double check you have everything. Create citation, right? Uh-oh, we're going to have to watch an ad. Um, here we go. Oh, I better disable my, my uh, hold on, I got to disable my ad blocker. I didn't realize I had that going on. Whoops-a-daisy. Okay, and you can see I practiced this. So I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to go back. 
and come into my journal, and then I'm going to paste this. Now, I want to tell you that your citations, you do not center those. So select your citation and go up here and left align it. Okay? And that's it. That's all you have to do. And if you have any questions, all you have to do is send me an email, send me a message to the classroom. And remember, we're going to be having a regular meeting, which after I call this week, we'll decide on when that's happening for your class. It'll be either Tuesday or Thursday um, in the afternoon because I don't want anyone to have to get out of bed early. Okay? All right. Take care. I love you all. I miss you. I wish we were in class together. See you later. This is Mr. Duncan, and I am out.